Hi everybody, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're a regular subscriber. Thanks for being here. This video, I want just to give an update on the plotter and the Tetris system that I've been using for the past months in this year of 2022. I really enjoyed using the plotter and I'm going to continue using them, but I like to come back here from time to time and just show how things are, if things have changed, uh, my thoughts on it, and I think overall is a great system. I really like it. It's high quality. It's also a bit more expensive than other ring systems that are on the market, but it's very unique in some aspects that I already show in previous videos. I'm going to link them below. I do have a full playlist with uh, videos about the plotter, but now I feel like I've been using for a lot longer and I can come back here and give you an update. Um, and yeah, so stick around if you want to know a bit more about the plotter. So I'm going to go in chronological order here. This was the first one that I got. I bought this one. This is the Bible size, which is compatible with the personal size if you go for American brands. So the plotter is a Japanese brand and the names of the sizes are a bit different. So they call this one Bible or personal, but it has again the six rings and you can use inserts from other branches like Filofax or printables. But the main thing about the plotter or this system is that the rings are really small. And by having those smaller rings, things lay super flat. Also, the covers are very thin, but you can write on it. So it's really comfortable for you to have your binder open on a desk and write on it instead of when you have like a bigger ring. So this ring, I believe, is like 11 um, millimeters. Uh, when you have like bigger rings, it could be a bit uncomfortable to write close to the ring independently if you are left handed or not. Uh, and a lot of people do remove the page to write uh, on them instead of leaving them in the planner. So to me, the game changer for plotter was number one, the smaller rings. Um, that will allow you to write on it and not be removing it. And number two, the combination of the small rings with the thin paper. Because you imagine the rings are pretty thin. If you put a lot of thick papers in here, they won't fit a lot. And then you're going to have to be like swapping things in and out. But if you put the thin papers that plotter and aperture, I think it's similar to Hobonichi paper. So it's very thin, but very good and sturdy. You can use fountain pens in it, markers, gel pens, all of it. And they handle pretty well. I will show some of the pages here. So you can fit a lot of pages in this book and just carry it around, write on it, and you don't have to take it off. Okay, so I started using this one as a planner for work, as like a really a work binder because when you have a ring system, it's nice that you can just put and make the sections as you want. Um, it's not like a book bound form that you cannot be, you know, inserting things as you go here. It's really customizable. Do you say it this way? You can custom it to the, to the way you, you want. So I started using uh, the plotter as a work binder, but this plotter in particular, so I moved this into a new cover that is here. So I'll do a flip of that. But this uh, cover right now, it uh, it's my, in fact, my ink binders or my ink inventory, like I'm calling it. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. So if you have a ring system or a ring, ring binder just sitting around that you're not using and you wanna catalog things, it can be anything. Here I'm cataloging inks, because I have a lot of samples already and I want to be, uh, you know, how can I say it? I want to have a uh, fast, uh, efficient. Yeah, I want to be efficient. I want to be have an efficient system that I can quickly see what I have. So I just got these tabs here that actually are from Filofax and I catalog them. So I have here my currently inked. So here I would just write what pens I have w with, with inks. Here I have like an ink log, so it's just a full list of all the inks I have. If I have the bottle for that specific ink, I will put a little ink stamp. If not, that means I just have uh, samples. So it's just a um, list like this. Once I get a new one, I can just come to the last page and keep numbering them. So I know, okay, this is the last number and I keep numbering it and I name the tubes, if it's a sample, I'll just write on top of the tube. If it's a bottle, I normally don't put the number because it's a big bottle. I'll easy identify what the color is. 
here I have, which to me is also very useful, is just a swatch. So I have per color all the blues and greens and so on. And like this, when I want to switch and pick a, um, you know, specific color, I just come here and I find it. And here I have lists. So let's say if I receive a package and you have a group of them, or if a friend gave me a lot of um, samples, I'll just put here as well. Oops, I don't know if you want to see that, sorry. So that was the ink inventory. But I think, yeah, so I, I only went until day eight. So yeah, maybe close your eyes. I'm not gonna keep flipping if you haven't finished your ink inventory. But yeah, so this is what this um, binder is used for now. And in here, um, I switched the pages that I had in here because I actually did want it to put more than what it fits. So I got this. This is from Braleo. It's also a Japanese brand. Um, and the rings are, and I don't remember if it's 16. I think it's 16. So here are the inserts from Plotter. And what I did in the monthly, I just put the tabs from the Traveler's Company. Like this, I could flip through the months easily. And I've been using this, as I said, mainly as my workbook. So it's mostly work related. So I would just write with pen. This is a jet stream and I would highlight with my outliner. So this is how I've been using the monthly all this year. And I really like it. And here is the weekly. I changed a lot of what I was using the weekly for just because the way that the page layout is, I wasn't really getting used to it. Um, so it's similar to the Hobonichi Weeks where you have the dates on the left and a full page in here, but actually it's not like the Hobonichi Weeks because you do have the right, the hour, sorry, written in here. And here the page has a line that is carried over the other side. So you can use all that for one day in specific if you want, or you can just use it all as a full page because the lines are here. I couldn't really use it as a full page. I don't know. It was just my brain wouldn't accept that because of the lines. So I think what works the best for me was still to do major uh, project uh, to-dos. And here I would just have notes. Any notes. It could be personal notes if I would be carrying this with me to work. Because normally if I take this with me to work, I'm not going to take my Hobo two weeks. Like I won't be taking two things. So... I could have still the work to do's in here and here I'll just have notes that could be related to work or not. Um, and as you can see, I do use stickers and washi tapes in it and it, you know, it worked okay. I got this little um, to-do list on um, narrow size, which is, as you can see, same height as the Bible, but narrower uh, because they do have an entire like binder that is the narrow size is like that but i think it was cool just to have like this little to-do list in the middle uh catnap pen use that to divide as work or personal and work on one side you know like this you can have both in the same um binder which is great so yeah so i've been working on that using it for everything that i need a couple weeks i didn't use as much probably i was just carrying my hope two weeks with me and that's fine. The information is here. It also works fine with stamps if you like stamping. So this is how I've been using that. And I really liked. Here are all the to-dos pages. I really love that. So this is where I keep track of tasks from projects. Here I kind of put everything in just like I would just finish one project to start the list for the other. But for next year, I just there I'm going to show each project will have its own section. And here I also have a uh, notes page. So as you can see, it fits a lot. It's thin, but it fits a lot. And I really like it. But for uh, 2023, I decided that I wanted to get the Pueblo Navy, which is in fact the same color as this one. This is the pocket on the Mini 6. I got this, um, I don't know, half middle of the year um from plotter as part of our uh, like ambassador program and i really love this letter so i decided to get the bible size in this one as well so this is already set up for next year so i have a card here sticker just to make a pretty cover and again i put the tabs from traveler's company i really love that we had the blue ones this time so it's the same and here i already add the weeklies 
and I've been, you know, each week depends on what I need. I just use it, but I try to keep it mainly for work projects and things like that, especially when I have to plan ahead. I think I would write in here and yeah, things are here. But in the past weeks, because I got COVID and I had to stay home for a, a little more days than what I expected, I just haven't opened my desk and I would still track stuff that I want to get done for the day. And then I would just put notes. Sometimes I would journal here like this when I have time to open my journal, my TN. I will have the notes in here and I can just write a bit more, put a bit more stickers and so on. As you can see, I changed a bit the layout of my desk because I wanted to have more space to have all my books in here. Um, and so it's not always that I have all my journals. So by having space to write things that when I have the time, I can write more in a journal I think it kind of helps me and I I do love it so I do have a dilemma of having a Hobonichi Weeks and I have a plotter because I love both of them they both have amazing paper that work with the pens that I like so um, I, I'll keep using both but I'm gonna be very honest uh, if you don't write a whole lot you can fit things in one or the other but because I do write a lot of things they don't fit but sometimes I do feel like I wish I could fit everything in one like this. I just have to carry one with me. But yeah, things just don't fit. But I love both. They're both great systems. So here are the weeklies already. And then here I have a couple binders, as I said. So those are the project managers that you can fold and put pages inside. So I just put some categories. This would be family and home. Those are the work projects. And I actually have more for each project. So that right now I'm focusing on finishing uh, just one of them so that's why there's only one and here I put finances but I'm just very terrible at budgeting or anything so when I write finances I mean a wish list uh, you know order tracker those kind of things just to be more mindful with my money and maybe if I have a list of how much I'm expanding I'll put a break on when I feel like okay I hit already a, a, a threshold here we can stop all right so the other one that I'm using that I'm loving a lot is the Mini 6 or the Pocket, which is again, six rings, small, um, the itch is so parable, so nice. This leather has aged already and it's very soft right now, it's very smooth. When you uh, feel the Pueblo, Pue Pueblo, sorry, at first, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a bit rough, I would say. And then as you touch it and use it over time, it just gets like really smooth. So I've been uh, using this on and off, not all the times, because as you see, I already have a bunch of planners, but it's more like I'm going on a shopping day or, you know, I just have to run errands, go to the pharmacy, groceries, whatever. I'll carry this little thing with me because it's tiny. I change the setup here all the time and I like to do that because this I open it and it's just funny or nice to look at. Um, so I already changed the monthly to the to the monthlies from Plotter, but I was using from another brand because last year I didn't buy the monthly and when I tried to, it was already sold out. So I got it from Knox, the Knox um, company, which is from what I understood as a um, cousin sister brand from Plotter. But this year I bought in advance. It was very cheap, actually. I got all my inserts from Plotter on Amazon Japan and because I was already buying other things for there, so I compensated with the shipping. And yeah, they were less than $10. So this is the monthly, started in December, the weekly as well. So it's kind of the Hobonichi weeks. You can start using before uh, the year is over. So here, here are the monthlies. I had this uh, transparent tabs from, oh, I don't know what the, her shop is named right now. Caffeine Paper Co. Freckles Design. I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to put the link below. She has uh, transparent tabs, uh, like laminated ones, and, and she has both side tabs and top tabs, and you can um, customize them to whatever you want. So I got this a long time ago and here it just cut slits and I'm using it in here. So this is for the monthly and I have, oops, this one is not in here. And I have another one for the weekly. And my weeklies are not from Plotter because the, 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 way, that the, the, the way that the layout is 
for the weekly, I don't think it will be enough space for me because then you'll be all the divisions in here and all the divisions in there. So I'm using the one from Filofax actually. Let me see if I have a blank page to show. This is from Filofax. It came in a planner that Filofax sent to me when I was also collaborating with them. So basically you have your week in two pages and I just write whatever errands I need to do on the day. Uh, like this, if I have it with me, I would um, have it. I also write stuff that I want to do, like film this, you know, like I'm put here, film plotter. I'm like, yeah. So it's just like a fun place. I would say it's my comfort planner. If I am stressed and want to play or just come here, it's nothing serious. I also have some uh, currently inks and, and pen tests because I do take this when I go meet with friends or when I go shopping. So if they have their pens with them, so here just... Uh, testing the pens from my friend Mary, and I think I have others here, but yeah, so then I have shopping lists and things like this, and then at the end, I have like order tracker, and I have um, this, this in search from Filofax that you can track your expenses, so I have that for each month as well, and this is kind of hidden here <laughs> in the project manager. I don't want to be looking at it all the time, but I do want to have the information. So this is here, like this I can take with me. Um, here in the back, I have like a plastic with some stickers and washi tapes if I want to decorate. So yeah, this is how I've been using it. I really love this. So this is all um, that's been going on with the plotter. I do use it. I like it. I do recommend but yeah, the price point is a little bit up compared to the others, but I think that it comes with a lot of quality as well. So overall, I'm really happy with the plotter and I will still using. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was useful. I do like to come back and show whether I'm still using things, how I'm using them, what I like, what I don't like. Because um, I love to watch those when you guys come back to give us an update. I think it's very useful before we acquire anything. So... Thank you so much for watching and I'll have a lot more videos coming for the holidays. I hope you enjoy that. Bye-bye.